It's the Wake Up and Live with the Art Show, the performing and cultural arts program which celebrates and showcases the diversity of the arts and performing artists in Northeast Ohio. Hello and welcome to a very special edition of a combined Wake Up and Live with the Arts and a New You for a New Life. Donna Fox, my co-host and I, I'm Sue Johnson, we are going to spend the next hour having a fabulous conversation with our very special guest, uh, her name is Lisa Craig from the Cleveland Playhouse. Lisa Hello. is the Playhouse Public Relations Manager, yes. and she uh, was the coordinator of, for us to be able to tape Mimi for our show going today. On. What's going on at the Cleveland Playhouse these days? Tell us about Mimi's current appearance as Ann Landers. Uh, maybe you can even give us a little background on how you found her uh, and were able to bring her to the Playhouse. And then by all means, let's talk about all the special events and upcoming productions going on. Sure, I would be happy to. Uh, well, The Lady with All the Answers is a one-woman comedy about Ann Landers. And uh, we were fortunate uh, Mimi Kennedy had done the production in Pasadena, California. And uh, we, the artistic director and so forth, you know, uh, who make those decisions um, say, oh gosh, would you be interested maybe in doing it in Cleveland, you know, and yay, and she said yes. Uh, Mimi is absolutely hysterical and engaging, and I really never knew Ann Landers until I, now I feel like I know her, mm -hmm. and I'm blown away by her. And I've got to tell you, I, I've, I've seen Ann Landers speak. Oh. And when Mimi opened her mouth, it was, I gasped. Okay, it was like, oh my God, that's Ann Landers' voice. How does she do that? I mean, I was just, it was such a testament mm -hmm. to her immense talent that I was, and it's not because she was my friend. I mean, you know, you always say, oh, yeah, you're good. Yeah, but yeah. man, <laughs> you couldn't fake. You were fabulous on yeah. this one. You know, so the idea was, I was just, I, I was totally blown away. And, and, and I, I tend to be rather critical of, of produ productions, as you can ask my husband. But, so so uh, tell us more, because I saw the production also, but tell us more uh, uh, not only about Ann Landers, right. but about your other productions. Sure. Uh, so this play runs through April 19th, and then we then kick off into what we call our it's a fourth annual Fusion Fest, yes. huh? which is a festival uh, celebrating new works in dance, in theater, in mm -hmm. music, and all sorts of uh, contemporary arts all under one you know uh, building so it gives you a chance to say hmm I feel like ballet hmm I feel like chamber music hmm I feel like one woman you know and it's uh, really wonderful and that takes place April 29th through May 10th and does, doesn't that uh, fusion fest also incorporate some technology as well as the straight performing arts or no. is it not this one okay yep, not this one it's all, right. all performing arts straight, uh, okay. straight performing arts and we are fortunate to partner with other prestigious arts organizations such as the Cleveland Museum of Art, who's mm -hmm. bringing in Basil Twist uh, for a, a puppeteer uh, Japanese um, ancient performance. And we're also partnering with the Cleveland Orchestra, who's going to be doing some chamber music from the 1930s, tied into what is the anchor piece um, of Fusion Fest called Heaven's My Destination, mm -hmm. which is a novel by Thornton Wilder, yes. which the Playhouse has commissioned uh, to Lee Blessing, a Pulitzer and Tony nominated wow. uh, playwright. Okay. Uh -huh. And so he's adapted it, and Michael Bloom, our artistic director, is mm -hmm. directing. So it is a world premiere, uh, wow. and that's our, our anchor piece. Very nice. Yes. So. And what comes up after Fusion Fest to close out the season? That kind of officially closes our season, mm -hmm. um, and we've been doing something new at the Playhouse during the summers. We're just sitting there, yeah. uh, you know. So uh, let's bring some things in. So uh, we've got. We're fortunate that to have the fourth installment of the Greater Tuna, Greater Tuna, Texas. <laughs> um, uh, this one's called uh, Tuna Does Vegas. And we just finished doing our TV divas do Vegas yes. over at the Brooks Theater. Yes, Brooks, yes. yes. Our, yes. our own production. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh -huh. but uh, that's been an amazing uh, regional hit for over 25 years, yes. and the uh, original two performers are going to be in Cleveland uh, doing it, Joe Sears, and, and um, I'm going to look over here, Justin Williams. And uh, that's happening June 10th through the 28th. So that's just good time, comedy, fun, 
you know, if you can't afford to go to Vegas, you come to the Playhouse and we'll take you there one way or another. <laughs> That's so, true. Yeah. And even because of the economy and so forth, to make arts more easily enjoyable mm -hmm. by folks, you do offer special ticket um, uh, opportunities on occasion where patrons can come. Do you have same day sales? Or? Yes, absolutely. Okay. What's what's usually a, a tradition in, in much of New York and London is uh, what we call our rush tickets. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take that chance and come down uh, about 90 minutes before curtain, there's that hour window until 30 minutes before curtain where if we've got a seat, we'll sell it to you for $10. And of course, it's a great uh, deal. It's a great yeah. deal. Yeah. Yes, well, it's in it there from 6.30 to 7.30 usually? Yeah, so for curtain is at 8. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. You, yeah, yeah. Come, just hour. physically so come down. Hour. Yeah, yeah. Come down so it's called yeah. rush hour <laughs> and, <laughs> yes so yeah. you come down and, and we'll give you the best available we won't uh, banish you to the back row or anything. And that's absolutely true yeah yes, yes. and besides yeah. that you don't have nosebleed seats at the playhouse no. anyway exactly all a bad in, seat in the house no right. all intimate theaters yeah. you know seating four or five hundred people so right. you know because you have right the there. Bolton you have studio one you have yep. the Brooks you have the, the jewelry. jewelry yep okay so yeah. you have a lot of theater going on there yeah. at the Cleveland Playhouse that's an right. institution that's been around for many, many, many yes, years. Yes, since 1915. Exactly. Yeah. So isn't what, the Cleveland Playhouse also the, the oldest regional theater in the country? Yes, or as we like to call us uh, young chickens, uh, the first. The, the first. first. Yes. There you go. The first regional, <laughs> the first. continuously producing regional That's theater. right. That's that right. And Caramu and they have sort of a friendly competition because oh, Caramu is known as the first African American yeah. regional oh. theater oh, yes, in the country. I didn't, I didn't realize yes. that. And it was founded wow. approximately the same time yes. yeah. as the Playhouse. Wow. Yeah. But now with all this conversation about the Playhouse, what we really need to do is tell our viewing audience exactly how they can contact contact you to get more information about the productions, to order tickets. Uh, so tell us all that information. Sure, I would be happy to. Um, your viewers can always visit us 24-7 on our website, which is www.clevelandplayhouse, all one word, dot com. And there you'll get show information, information about our artists and guests, um, and all that kind of good stuff. And of course, you can buy tickets online. Or if you want to talk to a live human being, we have those as well. Oh, <laughs> and, <what a> yes. <laughs> And, you and very nice us. ones, by the way. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I, we think so, too. Okay. Uh, at area code 216-795-7000. And uh, you can uh, speak to an operator, ask to speak to our box office, ask for me, whatever and you want. And you actually do have live operators yes, there. Yes, we do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. it's great. It's 216-795-7000. Okay. 7000. Yep, or okay. clevelandplayhouse.com. I, I just have one question. Yes, quickly. Are mm -hmm. you doing anything with kids these days? Uh, we did, what did we do? I mean, as far as a, a kids acting classes or or productions for yeah. children? Uh, uh, we I have some grandkids. Yeah, interested. we have an amazing education department that does a lot of uh, summer camps, especially that are coming up. Okay. So the website will have that information. That would be important for our viewers yeah, as well. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So there's summer classes and there's also internship opportunities, acting workshops, things like that. And a lot of it is our education department going out to the schools and doing that you know, sure. for the class. Outreach, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. and, then, yeah. and then you have also adult education classes still? Or, yes. yes. So yep. really just like to share it with our yeah, viewers uh, absolutely. for all those folks out there that are aspiring actors yep. that mm -hmm. uh, would like to actually work with wake up and live with the arts we also they also have classes that yeah absolutely and again all that information is available on our website right. when you're on our main home page just click on education and there you go there you go yep. okay it. good and speaking of there you go let's go and meet Kennedy I, I can't, can't, Kennedy. Kennedy. Can't, meet me, Kennedy. I can't wait I'll get it right event before the hour is over <laughs> okay Lisa thank you so thank much thank for you so much coming for coming and you. sharing information about the playhouse and above all for coordinating and facilitating Mimi's guest appearance with You're us very today. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's our okay. pleasure. Thank you very much. Wake Up and Live's Actors Studio is offering a workshop series to help you get to where you want to be. The first in the series, Tricks of the Trade, Creative Writing for Aspiring Playwrights, Screen and Fiction Writers with Sue Johnson, Ruby Fox, and Gary Webster. Saturday, April 18th, 2009, 10 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. The second Wake Up and Live workshop, Wake Up and Live, Seven Keys to Reposition and Repurpose You and Your Life for Positive Power and Prosperity. Devote a day to changing your life with Sue Johnson on Saturday, April 25th, 2009, 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock.